This is a rubber bee strap and it is not going to be touching one of my watches ever again. So this company, Rubber Bee, they sell these very, very expensive straps. And I ordered one in June of last year. And, you know, I thought, you know, it's $270, but it's a luxury product. They say so on the website with both the product and the quality of their service. Well, let me just shorten this for you. They will not stand by their product and the quality of their service is childish and unprofessional. So I made a video at the time doing the installation. When winter rolled around, I wanted to swap back to the bracelet. So I took it off and I noticed that there is a chip on the end link here. Not a big deal. It's, it's not even cosmetic. It's on the underside of the watch. However, it being a luxury product, it do, I don't really have to settle for less than perfect, right? So I thought, let's just contact Rubber B. Let's see what they do. There's a lot of margin in there at $270 for a strap to be able to serve me well. And the first person who I dealt with, she said, oh, let me go talk to the technicians. And then she came back saying, you did the damage. She accused me of damaging the strap during installation. And I'm like, huh, I don't like being accused of damaging my own strap during installation. I mean, yeah, I'm not a professional, but I'm not stupid. Thankfully, I actually created a video in 4K showing the entire process. And what did I see when I reviewed that footage? Well, the whole process was on video. As I pull it out of the rubber B envelope, they have this sealed wrapper that actually houses the strap. And in that video, you can see that the, that the strap that I get, it came like that. It came like that. The chunk was already missing while it was still sealed. You can see it through the clear wrapper that the strap was actually already damaged and that's how it was delivered to me. Now I would have thought after sending this in, I would expect to say, oh, sorry to have inconvenienced you. Is it the six o'clock strap or the 12 o'clock strap? How can we get, how can we rectify this? How can we make this worth your time? What I then get is them saying, oh, actually someone who could actually help me in Switzerland is they're all out for Christmas. So you're gonna have to wait. So weeks go by, I have to ping. And then they come back to me saying, you know, we've reviewed the footage. Yeah, there's damage here. It's unacceptable. But guess what? It was UPS that did it. UPS must have done it because it couldn't have been us shipping you a faulty product because our, our QA is so immaculate that I know for sure that it was UPS and you need to put in a claim of UPS. And I'm like, okay, this is some very, very weird passing the buck. If UPS had damaged it, if it was damaged in shipping, number one, I would have hoped that they would still try to rectify the issue. It's not me who chooses the carrier or the way in which they package their, their product. Secondly, if the piece of plastic had broken off in shipment, the piece of plastic would have been rattling around in this bag or in this one, right? But it wasn't, you can see it in 4K. This bag only had the, the orange strap. So they're being doubly stupid and childish and, and trying to finger point and blame and for what, you know? I mean, most of the costs of these things, I don't, I don't have any issue with it being 270, but I expect it to be backed up with their word and their honesty. And the fact that if they ship something that is broken to a customer, that they would make it good. They then start asking, why did you wait six months? Well, I told you that. I wanted to swap it over for a bracelet for winter, and then I noticed the damage. And what does it matter when I contact you if I've already sent you 4K footage of me opening it on the day that you shipped me a broken strap? Anyway, they don't even respond to this. No response, they ghost me. I, I ping them back a few weeks later. Hey, I'm looking for an update this. I get this weird cryptic empty response email with a newsletter sign up. I'm like, uh, hey, there's no actual response here. What they were doing is just childishly just re-quoting their last email. So, you know, it doesn't show up in my email client because it's just, it's just a re-quote from the previous email. So there's no actual response. But their final position is basically that UPS must have done it 
or it's six months. So it doesn't matter whether or not we shipped you a faulty product to begin with, it's your problem. So Rubber B, fuck you. <laughs>